Manhattan mourns and the world joins in the tears and tributes to Steve Jobs. Flowers were laid at the Apple HQ in New York and at stores coast to coast in the home country of the designer who transformed the daily lives of millions. From president to prime minister to the public, all have their memories. I was born in the early 70s, you know, so I was, as a kid, a part by Apple II, Macintosh, and after that, the revival of uh, Apple in the uh, mid-90s. You know, I am making a lot of music. It always works with an Apple. So I love the gears. I love the man and uh, really deep sadness. We should keep what he did in our mind and the, how to say, try to do what he wanted to do instead of him. Because he made the word better, much better in terms of creativity. I think he has changed our life. I mean, I've got, a, got an iPhone. We don't say I'm using my phone anymore. We say I'm using your iPhone, the iPad as well, so. Flowers were laid by New Yorkers and tourists to the city on hearing the news which many said they had been dreading. Some spoke of Jobs' influence in the world of business. And we've also can appreciate uh, the contributions that he's made to American business and global business, and uh, he's probably will be considered an industrial giant on the scale of uh, Th Thomas Edison and Henry Ford, so one of the great of all time. His home state of California talk of the Apple heritage. It's an amazing legacy. He's just ha been a force of nature. Um, it's no longer, you know, do you have a portable music device or do you have a Walkman? It's, you know, I want an iPad or an iPod, um, that's the music device of choice. In the Big Apple, thoughts and memories were of the man who took the Apple brand global.